Hey friends, I'm Ginny D, and you may recall my mermaid tail unboxing video from last fall. Oh my god, it's so pretty, look at the colors. You're gonna be a mermaid! I'm gonna be a mermaid! I know you've all been waiting for more mermaid stuff, and I am finally doing it. One of the things I was missing was a good mermaid bra, and of course I wanted to make my own. Personally, I really wanted to make a top that looked like a mermaid could actually have made it with the materials that she has under the ocean. I wanted it to look really organic. This is what I ended up with. Today I'm going to walk you through how to make your own mermaid bra, whether you want to wear it out of or in the water. Yours doesn't have to look like mine, there are a million styles that you can create with this same method. But first, this tutorial is sponsored by Skillshare. It's an online learning community with thousands of classes on a zillion different topics from photography to interior design to animation to personal finance. I just recently watched Tyson Wheatley's class Mobile Photography Basics for Instagram Success and I wish I could share it with every single cosplayer who wants to shoot better photos of their costumes. I know a lot of cosplayers don't have access to an expensive camera. Some of us only have our phones. I really liked this class. He goes over a bunch of photography basics. He even recommends accessories that you can get to amp up your phone photography, like lenses. He suggested a little mobile tripod like this one that I have and use all the time, but this is great. He also suggested that if you don't have one of these, you can use a shoe to hold up your camera. It's such an easy, relatable hack, and the whole class is like that. It's just really approachable. There are a bunch of classes on Skillshare that are perfect for cosplayers. There are classes on draping and garment construction and how to read sewing patterns. There are even classes on things like wiring LEDs or working with leather. A Skillshare membership costs less than $10 a month, and the first thousand of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a two-month free trial of premium membership. Step one of the mermaid bra process is gathering materials. You'll need to start with a bra or a swim top. I chose a nude swim top because I'm gonna be wearing this to go swimming, so I wanted to make sure that it would really hold up underwater. If you're making a natural looking top like mine, I would recommend getting a nude colored base to match your skin tone. But if you're trying to make something bright and vibrant, then feel free to choose a base that matches your color scheme. If you're unsure what kind of mermaid bra you want, I would highly recommend looking through Pinterest or Google Images or Etsy and just figuring out what kind of styles and concepts call to you. I collected a few images that I liked for a sort of a mermaid top mood board. My finished bra doesn't look like any of these, but it draws elements from each of them. Once you know what you're going for, you'll need to gather whatever kinds of greenery or fabrics or accessories you want to add. It's okay to collect more materials than you're sure you'll use. Part of the design process means playing around with the materials that you have and seeing how it looks and making adjustments. I used some artificial leaves and vines, hemp fishing net, and pearls. Start by just pinning materials onto your bra and seeing how they look. If you don't have a dress form to put the bra on, you can just lay it out flat while you work or even wrap it around a pillow if you want to better see how it'll sit on a real body. It's okay to take things down and rearrange them if you aren't happy with how they look. I recommend giving yourself a lot of time for this step because part of it is just letting the materials kind of tell you how they want to sit on the bra. Especially when you're working with a material like artificial leaves, it can look really messy if you try to force them into shapes that they don't want to be in. Once you have the whole base layer down, it's time to secure it. I'm gonna be hand sewing everything on this bra because I'm planning on swimming in it, so I want it to be really durable. But you're also welcome to try using hot glue if you want a quicker project. Just a warning though, hot glue might struggle to stick to some of your materials depending on what you're working with. I used green thread and a few stitches to anchor every leaf to the bra in two or three places, often the same places that I put the pins. You don't need to sew all the way around the leaf or anything. Using a few little points to tack the leaves down will allow the leaves to keep their shape and it'll preserve the stretch of the garment a lot better. Next, I had these little plasticky seaweed strands that I wanted to use as an accent. I pinned them in place over the leaves to see where I wanted them, and then I stitched them down too. If you're working with anything like this that you can't sew directly through, you can just wrap the thread around the material instead. Now I wanted to add a layer of netting. The net I got has a lot of texture and a pretty wide weave, so it doesn't behave very well when draped. It took a few tries to figure out a way to place it so that it lay well over the bra. I only anchored it in a few spots because I wanted to keep it in place but I didn't want the draping to feel tortured. I wanted to go with the natural shape of the net. I think it'll also relax a little once it gets into the water and then dries again. And finally, I added a few strings of pearls draped through the net as well as some single pearls for a sort of water droplet look. This type of top tends to look better the more time you're willing to invest in it. My design really came to life as it gained detail. 
If you're working with your own mermaid bra and you feel like it's just not quite looking right, it may just need a little bit more time and a little more experimentation. And that's how you make a mermaid bra. I just want to note the hand sewing method will work for a lot of materials, but if you want to use seashells, you'll probably have to glue them unless you're planning on drilling a lot of holes into a very fragile material. If you're into mermaid stuff, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and that you've clicked the little notification bell because I'm working on a new music video featuring my mermaid tail in action underwater and I think you're really gonna like it.